book 345. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the evil spirit and the woman with the magic flu. That's right. The evil spirit and the woman with the magic flu. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, in a village which sat next to a mountain, an evil spirit showed up one day and began to cause chaos in the land. This evil spirit went from person to person, possessing them and making them do wicked things to their families, friends, and neighbors. At first, the villagers did not realize what was the cause of the current chaos, but they soon realized that they were being vexed by an evil spirit. They tried everything that they could in order to rid themselves of this spirit, but nothing seemed to work. The spirit resisted all of their magic and all of their prayers and it eventually sought residence inside the mind of a young woman. Tormenting her greatly, the evil spirit caused the young woman to go mad. Fresh out of ideas, the villagers were about to give up when a woman came into their village carrying a large black flute made from a substance they had never seen before. The woman said that she belonged to a craft of women who specialized in trapping evil spirits and she had been led to their village by a peculiar omen she saw in the sky. Believing she had been sent to them by the gods, the villagers told her about the evil spirit and showed her the young woman who was out of her mind. Having sympathy on their plight, the woman began to play her black flute and the music was the most beautiful and soothing music the villagers had ever heard. The young woman's body began to convulse and the evil spirit within her cried out in pain. After a while of non-stop playing, the evil spirit sprang forth from the young woman's body and the woman sealed it up in a glass jar. The villagers, grateful for being saved from their torment, gave the woman many treasures and thanked her for her services. Then the woman with the flute left the village and headed towards the mountain. The young woman, whose mind was healed, was so impressed by these events that she decided to go find the woman and ask her to join her craft and learn the art of trapping evil spirits. After a short journey, she reached the mountain and tracked the woman into a cave system at the base of it. As she approached the clearing in the caves, she heard a woman speaking to someone. The young woman hesitated and listened to the conversation. Shocked, it slowly dawned on her what she was hearing. Stepping into the clearing, she saw that the woman with the flute had released the evil spirit and they were sitting there talking to one another and going through the treasures the villagers had just given her. You did not trap the evil spirit, the young woman accused. You are working with the evil spirit. You have conned us. The woman with the flute looked up angrily and ran towards the young woman to attack her and the two of them began to fight fiercely within the cave. The evil spirit hovered at the back of the cave and watched the battle unfold. We do not work together, the evil spirit eventually called out. I am a prisoner. She controls me with the black flute. Take the flute and you can take her power. The young woman continued to struggle with the woman and she eventually prevailed and took the black flute. Once she held it in her hands, she commanded the evil spirit to possess the woman and make her stand still. The spirit obeyed, and the woman who once possessed the flute stood still, but her eyes were still full of rage. The spirit then explained that the woman was a powerful witch, and she used the flute to trap him in the realm of the earth so that she could use him to torment villagers and then trick the villagers into giving her treasures in exchange for getting rid of him. The young woman was appalled at the level of deception, and she asked how she could release the spirit from the woman's clutches. If you break the flute, the spirit said, she will have no power over me and I can finally move on to the realm of the ancestors in peace. The young woman, believing the words of the spirit, smashed the black flute on the ground in the cave and the spirit, being finally free, disappeared in a flash of light and the woman who once owned the flute cried out in sorrow because she had lost her tool of deception. And so, the morning motivation of today is the evil spirit and the woman with the magic flu. As you go about your day today, make sure that you analyze everything that comes your way. Oftentimes, things are not what they initially appear to be. Upon further investigation, something you think is good for you can turn out to be extremely bad. And something that you think is bad for you can turn out to be the best thing you've ever encountered. Take your time when judging the character of a person also. 
People can pretend to be something they are not, but they cannot pretend forever. So today, pay attention to what's said as well as what is hidden and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To order books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series, search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbigherm.com.